If you have shoulder pain, this video is for you. Hello, I'm Dr. Melissa West, and today I am a guest here on Kriska Yoga for Christina. I teach real yoga for real people so you can move better, feel better, and connect with your true nature. If you're new to Christina's channel, then be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Christina puts out a new video every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern. And if you like my videos, come on over to my channel at Yoga with Melissa and I put out new videos every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. I put out a one hour yoga class. So today I am going to show you two yoga moves to help to release pain in your shoulders. And I know we all experience shoulder pain from keyboarding and texting, driving, just not getting enough movement in our shoulders. So the first one I want to show you, and you can do these standing up, we're doing them sitting down just for better lighting, um, is eagle arms. And I'm going to show you a variation today, and then I'm going to show you a different variation in my longer video here on Christina's channel on Wednesday. So if you lift your left arm and then hook your right arm underneath, you can either put the backs of your palms together or the backs of your hands together, your palms together. If you want to make it a little less, bring your elbows in and lower them down. Or a little more, you can pull it away and lift them up. And then we're going to release some neck tension too, just by turning your head from side to side. Let's go ahead and try that on the other side. So this time you're gonna lift your right arm up. You're gonna hook your left arm underneath, either backs of the hands together or backs or your palms together. And same thing, elbows in and closer into your body will make the pose easier for you. Or if you want more intensity, you're gonna pull your elbows away and lift it away from your body and lift it up. And the variation that we're going to do today, just to get into your neck a little bit, is to turn your head from side to side. And then in the longer yoga class that I'm doing for Christina's channel on Wednesday, I'm going to show you a different variation of this pose. So this is one that you could do when you're taking a, a short desk break at work, or if you're watching TV, you could do this one. The second one I wanted to show you is a really simple movement that's important to do when your muscles get really tight. So if you think of a guitar string, if it's long and tight or a violin string, if you were to stretch it more, it's going to snap and you don't want that to happen with your muscles. So actually what we need to do is create some laxity in our muscles. So if you think about your shoulder muscles, if we actually stretch them more, we're going to create that kind of really tight, 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 taut muscle that could snap. We don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is create some give in our shoulder muscles instead of stretching it more. So take your left shoulder and you're just going to lift it up and then lower it down and lift it up and you'll feel well you can let me know in the comments if you can feel that this creates some laxity if you're creating some give if it's going to uh, just instead of creating more tension you're going to create some release here and then you're going to bring it forward and relax it and forward and relax and then you're going to go back to back and relax and then lower it and bring it back up and then just feel the difference between your two shoulders and feel how your sh your left shoulder has settled into the place and you can probably see the difference between my two shoulders now and then let's do the same thing, create some give in your other shoulder. So instead of stretching it and make it more tight, we're gonna create that give. So you're gonna lift your shoulder and lower. 
and then you're going to bring it forward. So these are little secret tricks of the trade that we're letting you in on today. And then you're going to bring it back. And this is just simple things that you could do even at your desk or when you're riding public transport. And you wouldn't really stick out too much. And then lower. Shoulder 911 things. And then feel how there's less tension in your shoulders and your neck from that. So let me know in the comments which one was more helpful for you. Was the eagle arms more helpful for you or was the, let's call it the guitar string shoulder release more helpful for you? Let me know in the comments. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody who might benefit from this shoulder release, these two shoulder releases for shoulder pain, then share this video with them. Share the love. We don't want people with shoulder pain in the world. Let's share this as much as we can. And if you like this and you'd like a longer class, a full yoga class with lots of shoulder releases, then be sure to join me on Wednesday. Christina is having me back on her channel on Wednesday for a full yoga class where we're going to release the burden of responsibility that we carry on our shoulders. We carry so much burden of responsibility on our shoulders. So thank you so much for joining me today and be sure to subscribe to Christina's channel. She puts out such great content. I love doing her classes. And if you liked my short video today, then be sure to come on over to my channel as well and subscribe there as well. I will see you on Wednesday. Namaste.